Dr. Tom, it is some kind of bright out here. It is. It's really, it's really nice. I like it. <laughs> the sun is beating down on us. We got to shoot a video, right? Hey, man. Sorry, got to lose the glasses. All right. So, what's up with the sun? The sun. Why is the sun necessary? We talk about receptor sites, hormones traveling through the bloodstream are attracted to their own hormone receptor site. Testosterone would not go into a thyroid receptor site. Insulin would not go into an estrogen receptor site. Only estrogen goes into an estrogen receptor site. Receptor sites on cells de determine the factors that affect that cell. Mm -hmm. So if there's no receptor site for testosterone in a cell, testosterone has no effect on that cell. It can't get in. Right. The only substance for which there are receptor sites on every cell of your body, there's only two substances. One is thyroid hormone, because thyroid hormone is the thermostat that controls the temperature of every cell. That's called your metabolism, mm -hmm. how hot the cell works. Every cell needs a control as to how hot it's supposed to work. And vitamin D, that's the only other substance where there are receptor sites on every single cell of your body, which means every single cell of your body needs adequate amounts of vitamin D. So the sun converts hormones into your skin. By the way, those hormones are made of LDL cholesterol, mm -hmm. which we think is the bad cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It's not bad cholesterol. Excessive amounts of the wrong type of LDL are bad. We'll talk all about that in the cardiovascular modules when we do that. But it's cholesterol in our skin that gets converted into vitamin D by the sun. Wow, just like that. Yes. So I need to just... Make a little more space. You know, the, the recommendation by experts is about 15 to 30 minutes every day, just around noon when the sun's the hottest, on your arms and your legs. That's all you need. Don't get red. You, you don't have to get red with it. But just mm -hmm. the consistent minor exposure will build up your levels. If you can't do that, well, back up. There's only one blood test that everyone should do every year. If there's only one and you're going to do it, it's vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And when do you do it? In the spring. Why? Because you're coming out of the season where you've had the lowest amount of sun. So you'll see, what. how did my body handle the lowest amount of sun in the winter? Right. And if it's low, you say, okay, I need more vitamin D in the winter. That's what you know for sure. Right. right. And so you need to, so A, we want to get out and get into the sun, soak it up a little bit every right. day if we possibly can. And what if you can't? What if there isn't any sun? What can you do to make then, up for the vitamin you, D deficiency? Then you supplement. You supplement. And um, uh, the sub, uh, taking vitamin D. And the type of vitamin D that's absorbed better than any other type is called mycelized vitamin D. You'll find it on the doctor.com website. The mycelized vitamin T, the vitamin D, will increase your blood levels five times higher than any other form. So you, wow. you take 2,000 units of mycelized, you get five times more bang for your buck than if you take 2,000 2, units of any other type of vitamin D. So, wow. and, and the mycelized vitamin D on our website is a liquid. Mycelized is always liquid. Just put a couple of drops under your tongue. It's all you need every day. Wow. So that'll take up any kind of deficiency. You can take care of that. Make sure that we get vitamin D because without vitamin D, our cells don't function. Every cell of your body. So if you don't have enough vitamin D, it might be your brain. If you don't have enough vitamin D, it might be intestinal permeability. Because we, we've already talked about that vitamin D controls the gates of the Panama Canal in your gut, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't get enough vitamin D, it might be your liver. If you don't get enough vitamin D, it might be your kidneys. It could be any cell of your body that manifests poor function because of inadequate vitamin D. Wow, so you heard it from doctor.com. We absolutely have great vitamin D and you absolutely need great vitamin D so that you can operate efficiently, effectively, and with vitality. Tom, thanks so much. Oh, thanks.